thoughts on the Mina protocol, Ouroboros plus Snarks? You know, they reached out to us and said they were going to be the first to implement Ouroboros Prous. That was back in 2018. They're still not in market with it. Uh, we were skeptical when we had a call with them. I remember Vasily Zikas was there. Agalos was there. I think Duncan may have been in that call as well. Um, everything that they've written is reasonable, although recursive snarks are still a deeply theoretical artifact. And there are great papers like uh, Halo Infinite and others, uh, but they also tell you very clearly that there's still a lot of unsettled theory in unsettled application. So I always get skeptical when the science is not completely settled about people who proclaim that they can create the ultimate blockchain for it. That said, they're doing the standard Silicon Valley thing. Um, they've raised a lot of money. Naval Ravikant, I think, is one of their investors. Uh, and they've gotten a lot of buzz. And, all, and yeah, we can't argue with the value proposition. They're basically saying you can have full node security for 22 kilobytes forever, no matter how big the chain gets, how many transactions occur in the chain. Uh, that's a pretty remarkable value proposition. Uh, so we think a lot about this topic, and we're setting up a Snark Lab at uh, University of Edinburgh. And this is going to be one of the line items in that 15 to $30 million research agenda, probably in the one to three million, depending upon the graduate students, postdocs, and professors associated with it, and also the engineering side that's associated with it. And recursive Snarks is one of the things that's in the um, research agenda. And given that Stanford is now writing about it, we're right at the right time. Dan Bonet kind of stands out and just waits a little bit. It comes in like a ninja and right when it's getting good. You saw that with homomorphic encryption and a lot of other things. And so the fact that he's entered the space uh, tells you that um, the next 24 months to 36 months, we're going to see a, a systematic series of breakthroughs on both engineering and also on theory. So I don't think anything they're doing is unreasonable. And I understand the team is doing a borrow instead of build strategy, which is why they like Ouroboros, the same for Polkadot. And there's nothing wrong with that. But having dealt with this technology ourselves, I will give a little bit of caution that be careful with timelines and proclamations. We're one of the few companies in the world that actually has implemented a snark. We created something called Sonics and we implemented Rust. That exercise took us 18 months with a team of Rust engineers who were very good doing nothing but that. So it is really hard to do this code well and uh, implement it at a standard where it actually works.